right, welcome to LED Info. My name is Ron. We're in the LED Info Test Lab. Today we're reviewing the Viper Spectra P600. And this is our third review that we've done of Viper Spectras. We've also looked at the Viper Spectra P1000 and the V300. And then for coming attractions, we have the VB1000 here in the test lab ready to go. So we'll be reviewing that one soon as well. We've been looking at the lights that are for sale on eBay and Amazon. And what we're wanting to do is to provide a comparison tool for those of you that are shopping for LED grow lights. And to help with those comparisons, we thought we'd take a minute today and take a look at the type of tests that we do. The main measurements that we test for are the PPFD and the daily light integral. Now we're not going to get technical today. For those of you that are interested, there's tons of videos here on YouTube that you know, take those topics into great scientific detail. So if you're interested, you know, that information is available for you. For our purposes, all we really need to know is that the PPFD is the amount of light that a plant receives at a certain point. Say, for example, dead center at 12 inches. The DLI is that amount of light multiplied by however many hours that the lights are turned on. Now we want to make a note here that when you see our DLI readings, we don't use the dead center PPFD, we use actually the average PPFD for the entire row area. That's the number that we use to compute the DLI. So those are the main things that you'll look for, the PPFD dead center, PPFD average for the grow area, and then the DLI. We also test each light for the actual watt usage as well. Alright, so here's the Viper Spectra P600, brand spanking new right out of the box. The light uses quantum board technology. It has a 10.5 by a 9.75 inch quantum board. It has 250 LEDs. According to the specification sheet, this light uses white light, warm white light with additional red and infrared LEDs as well. And this is a very popular light spectrum. Growers are embracing these lights. A lot of growers especially like the infrared. They feel that it helps their plants flower more profusely. The thing I notice most about this light is that it is heavy. It has a really thick heat sink. You'll notice how thick that is. Um, also, it has you know, all the little fins here going across. So we have to assume this light is going to disperse heat very well. It also has an easily accessible dimmer switch, which is a nice feature. So um, I'm anxious to get started. Let's hustle over to the test chamber, and we'll see what kind of PPFD numbers this one produces. Okay, so we've been reviewing the Viper Spectra P600. We have the Viper Spectra in the test chamber ready to go. It's on the level 12 inches of height. We've taken great care to place the light directly in the center of the test chamber. The test chamber is a very nice two foot by two foot grow tent that was provided to us by Yellow Sky. For our readings, we use the Apogee MQ500, which is the state of the art quantum flux meter, so you can feel confident our reading is going to be very accurate. So we're ready to go. We're going to button up the test chamber, and we'll have that all important dead center reading here coming right up for you. Okay, so there it is, 784. That's dead center for the Viper Spectra P600, uh, dead center at 12 inches. So I'll go on ahead and uh, complete the full PPFD grid. We'll post that. We'll also post the test lab review sheet. We'll stop by the watt meter, see what the actual watt usage is for this unit, and then we'll go on ahead and wrap this one up. So we want to thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a good one, and we'll see you next time.